Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of actually first episode because my mom ruined the first one. So here it is. Again, I have changed my thing on OBS so it says join two fifty six blocks high at um that because that server is really good. It doesn't have that many players, but it has a lot of features. And hit the like button and subscribe if you like this video or if you want to see more of my content. So what we have now is scoreboard <coughs> API and commands API. What is an API? API means American Petroleum Institute. Not that. Application programming interface. So I'm creating an API and other people can use my API in order to add that to their coding. So API, scoreboard API. This is command API, this is scoreboard API. Obviously, command API is more sophisticated than scoreboard API. No, I'm kidding. Actually it is. It's just I did more I did more command API work, like this is more complex than scoreboard API. My dad and my brother are fighting, so that's okay. We can just ignore that. Reset. We will set zero to um we'll okay there we go. I'm going to move all the coding over. I'm going to move this coding off. Um, I like to be organized. Oh, this is going to be zero. I removed variable one already. So, when I start it, watch the scoreboard. And it will change it to whatever the person wants. Score word. We're gonna switch. I'm gonna remove the API. So here we go. Does that and then creates up, resets it, and updates it. I think it's pretty cool. Reset sets all the variables to zero besides number one. So now if you look at it, what? It adds a variables. Okay. Wait one second. Set variable at the scoreboard. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. It's better. We're gonna save it. Save now. Now we're gonna go to command API. This does commands. So right now, we have the following code. When this button's clicked, um, set the dot command API, this dot right here, to this location. Negative 200, negative 145. So when you press C, it will do a text um, pop up box there. Okay, check. Um, if answer equals slash help, then do that, but if answer equals slash sp help for the scoreboard, then it will do, it will uh, do help for the scoreboard. I did not set this yet, but I did set the last one. Right? So here's how this works. If this is that, anything besides one, you can see it registered when I click start. So when I click C slash help, it will not show me any help because the only help in here is scoreboard help. If SB hook equals one, then say that. But since it doesn't, it will not tell you that. So let's get to since we already know the command slash SB help. I do sleep slash SB help. It will say this project does not use scoreboard API because SB hook is not one. If you do use it, it will set 
the last thing in here is API hook. API hook sets SP hook to 1. So that's why if this is 1, start slash help C slash help then it will say show help in there and it will tell you that. So if I do, okay, then I get that. So I will do C slash um, SP help. Say hello. It will wait. Say hello again. So that's how that works. <coughs> I'm going to be using featherboard type commands. in my project, so Featherboard. A big thanks to Max M M V Max M V D W okay for creating this. And this is how it looks in Minecraft. Hello everyone, my name is um, title. Nope. Nope. Still That's not That's a copy. Ours is obviously easier because it's a game. This is what it looks like. That's a scoreboard on the side of the screen. This is what it looks like on ours. So it's pretty similar. Player info, news, play. So if I was going to do that, I will set 2 to player info, 4 to news, 6 to times played, and I will switch 3. And that really shows how fast it's changing it. See? So that's how that works. And uh, the, you can also do animations with it. One of the animations I did with my scoreboard is when I click start. It looks like it crashed. You're gonna reload it. So now when I click start, scoreboard. This was created by me. This is an animation. See how the numbers change on line five, three, two. One, nothing. So that's how the numbers change, and then it puts out what I want them to be. Here's an example of a configured scoreboard. I'm going to use exactly what's here. Player info and sensing username. Then the next thing, player info, that, I'm not going to do animations, I'm just going to do news. On there, so it says like this. Um, don't forget rating. Attention, please do not forget to give this bug in five stars. So now we have health. We're going to do health. Oh, wait, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just do, um, variable. number one and that will for this I'm going to take a variable and I'm going to drag in here so we did variable number one here which should be zero anyways then I will do um server info we're going to do game info and we could put in another thing like lag related 
Okay, so here's our scoreboard now. Same thing here, but when this is done loading, the scoreboard load in one second. Here it is. Scoreboard, player info, my username. You see how this says username? I switched it to JDRB525. News, this API is great right here. Variable number one. Here it just says var, var y, var one, because we're using this variable. Variable one is scoreboard. So that's how that works. Now we're going to duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to unlink that, duplicate, and put it right here. Okay. Now I have to just set the whole entire thing back to bear one. Too. Otherwise, if it's not in order, we'll get a scoreboard looking like. That. Bear three. Bear four. And we, so we want them to go in order so the scoreboard is readable. Fair five, fair six. So now when I define it, wait, fair seven, six, seven. Oh, I made a mistake. Fair one, we do not want to change. Fair two. Fair three, fair four. Sorry, guys. That was a stupid on my part. So I'm gonna undo that. Eight, nine, and that should be ten. So now when I run it. Here it is, scoreboard. We have all our variables. And whenever we reset it, just gonna reset to the same thing. But when I'm updating it, update, reset. So that's how that works. If I clear the board, nothing's on it, and then I do SB update. Nothing's going to happen because there's no variables. So first I have to SB create, and then I SB update. So I use both variables and lists. So our scoreboard is really just the list. But it still is very functional and works as a scoreboard. So now we're going to do the commands. The default commands we're going to be using Or, so like this is what I tried to simulate. You see how it says file board stuff here? I'm trying to recreate. Actually, that's not a good example. Um, I'm recording. Wait, let me check. Yeah, okay, I'm there. Can we talk now? No, I'm still recording. Oh. I'll be right back. I'll just leave it at first page of failure board. I'm going to leave it at the commands. Scrolls down to commands. So you have our permissions, we have our commands. When your mom tells you to eat ice cream after you um, shower.
Okay. So featherboard, we we have slash scoreboard help. We're also going to add another thing to it called Oh, okay. I think I went ahead and did this. Now, here's a thing. I'm going to over I'm going to try and think this out. I could take the commands and put them on my scoreboard API. For, these are going to be for the scoreboard. So they're going they should go in here. Or I can take these and put them in my the commands and I could just put them in here. So when the commands come you have to have commands API in order to use commands for the scoreboard. So I decided it's not that hot in here. Okay. Okay, lighting's good. So, I decided I'm going to put the commands in, it's like the help menu is going to be in here, but the commands will be in here. So this is going to help them with using the commands. So say, I want to do the commands in the description, so slash sp about, okay, say, Scoreboard commands. What? Okay, no. I just need to get this. Wait one second. Duplicate. Duplicate. I want this to be a readable speed. So, first thing, featherboard about. I'm going to put it, this in that. So I will do saying slash sb dash score word about gives you current version. Upload config yeah, we don't need that. Upload log, we don't need set config we don't need. We're set. Featherboard read. So right, reset config. Did a missile blow up? Huh. We all know it was you. But use a skirt set it. That's fun. Featherboard permissions, so to view the permissions, we don't need that. Featherboard help, we already have that done. Featherboard reload, we need that. So if featherboard reload, okay, let's just do it. Wait, that's me. By completely, I mean it also gives you, it basically clicks the start button for you. What? Okay. File. Okay, I could just reload it. Run on So, by completely, I mean whenever it reloads, it will show the animation again. 
Because it's reloading, so it should load again. So, yeah, that shows how quick it, um, the updates. Which doing every single one of these, like, two times per second. I'm good at math. So, featherboard reload. Um, debug. This creates a debug dump seal. This, yeah, this can lag. Featherboard debug, I'm going to just leave alone for now. Because the featherboard, it doesn't need a debug. Mine isn't going to break. And if it does, that's the creator's fault for messing with it. Um, featherboard, so scoreboard change log. I'm going to add API to the end. Scoreboard API. So, scoreboard change log, we have that. Um, scoreboard changes. This one is just going to be for educational purposes, to for me to show you how to make one command trigger another. So, SB. SP changes. Oh yeah, I have to say what it does. Um and that can be done really easily. What is this called? No, not a shortcut. Elias. So FB changes does FB change a lot. Toggle. Um, scoreboard on just reloads it because if you power off a computer and you turn it back on, you see the Windows screen starting up. So that's an example of a reload. So same thing on my um, scoreboard here. Um, okay. Um, fireboard. Hmm. And the last one will be slash sb slash. I'm going to do multiple things here. 
slash slash And I'm going to duplicate, delete, duplicate. So wait one second. And then SB, I think it was shell. view does we don't say does we just do that um show slash view what would that do? Hmm. How I can I explain it? Because it would show the scroll work with and does slash be there in the last one duplicate now what to do SB reset SB Password text, okay. Um, scoreboard reset. Well, going to let you guys marvel at my coding while I use the bathroom. Be right back. I'll be quick.
get him back. So, we have our first thing for command API. That's pretty good. But now we have to add all the commands into our scoreboard API. So, I will do that off cam because actually I'll do one on cam, I guess. If I get if that helps, if that helps, I'm gonna keep on doing this branch for one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay, so we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Wow. This is going to not be fun. So, I guess now I will do if answer equals duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So I have to just keep on doing this. I'm going to move them over. Three. Nice. I have two there. Duplicate. Did I not duplicate that? Well, this is going to be big. How? Oh. Duplicate. I must have to duplicate that side. So there we go. And I will do one of the branches for you. This is going to be a big chunk of coding. Um. So for now, all I will have to, uh, first command I have, um, sb about. If answer equals slash sb if answer equals slash sb about slash sb sb reload What? It's not letting me click into it. Let me guess. I broke it. Well, that's all for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below and subscribe. Bye.